Sherry here. I am going to show you how I do a prep for a manicure. And in this case, I'm going to put on my new Jamberry wraps, uh, but these are just basics. It might not be, you know, what's normally done, or I'm not here to tell you exactly how to do it. I'm just showing you what I do. Um, and so I use this prep, whether it would be, you know, doing gel, gel nails or just a regular nail polish or the nail wraps. Uh, I will be using a couple of Jamberry products. Um, I think I mentioned in a previous video, but if this is the first video that you have seen, you wouldn't have heard my spiel before. Um, I've actually been using Jamberry products for about a year and a half. It is now June 2017, and I am deciding to be a Jamberry consultant, which I will start in July. Uh, so I do own a lot of Jamberry products. I have been using them um, and because I love them so much and I get compliments and I'm you know already kind of touting up Jamberry and you know will tell anybody who listens or compliments my nails all about it. I was thinking why don't I do this myself? Why don't I sell it and you know make a little bit of money for myself for selling something that I love and I feel passionate about and that I already talk about. It's easy to talk about because it's a great product. So I'm this is going to be a two-step video I'm going to do the prep then stop the video recording and then I will do the nail wrap application uh, that way then so somebody's not watching a video that's too long and you can always go back to it but I would recommend seeing this video first before you actually do a nail wrap application all right if you want to pause all right these are the basics that I use I have Jamberry's exfoliating sugar scrub and I have their biotin infused hand lotion. Now, these are older products. I know that recently they have redone their line of hand care and now they have added a foot care um, regime. But these are the old, this is my personal stash, so I'm using this because I have it. Um, a buffing block, and I've never really known what this is called, but you know, I use it to clean out my cuticles, <laughs> um, basic emery board, nail clippers. Now I love the baby nail clippers because I have small soft nails um, and I just think that they're easier to cut small nails than the big clippers. Um, also I think that this is more precise for getting hang nails. So ever since I bought the baby clippers for my little ones when they were babies, I have still just kept them because I like them personally. Um, then I have this here and I, this was all part of a kit that I ordered, I don't know, probably 20 years ago. And I don't even know what it was called anymore. I just, I'm going to get like all the pieces out of, out of here. So just so you can see what it was. Um, and it, <laughs> this is great for cuticles. And it just slips in here because I guess you could use this to, you know, clean out your nails too. Um, but it came with, it's almost like a buffer block, you know, that this is smooths your nails. And then this was the second step to kind of refine the smoothing. And then this actually buffs it to a shine. So if you were just doing a manicure without polish, um, you can use this to just bring a nice natural shine. But... So this is not Jamberry. I have no idea where I bought this, but I, I love this. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do, of course, I file my nails. You know, cut them if you need to. I don't actually don't even want to cut my nails. They've actually gotten long since I've been wearing Jamberry so consistently um, for the past month and a half. My nails have gotten considerably longer. I do not grow nails well. My nails are almost always short but I have not broken any nails wearing the vinyl wraps because they basically keep your hands protected or your fingers protected and your nails are much stronger because you have an adhesive vinyl wrap protecting your nails. Um, this one is broken though and I have actually been able to keep this nail, I don't know if you can see that in the video, it's right there. It's cracked right across. I always get a split way down here in my nail. I don't know why I've, you know, I've had that since I was a teenager. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I damaged my nail. I don't know if it's something genetic, but my nail always eventually splits down here. 
and it's extremely painful. So what I have to try and do is try and cut as much of that off as I can so that it doesn't snag and tear, which hurts even worse. So this nail is always short. And since I've been wearing the Jamberry nail wraps consistently for a month, when this split, it's actually stayed protected, protected by the wrap and it's actually growing. And I'm hoping to get it at least up to here so that I can just cut it straight off and it won't hurt the skin underneath at all. And I don't know if anybody remembers, <laughs> I don't even know if they still make them. Yeah, it was in the, the time of the 80s when they had the Lee press on nails. So I'm gonna assure you that the, the Jamberry adhesive wraps are not Lee press on nails, completely different. Um, but they have these little like paper wraps that you could put across you know like lay it cut it to size and you would lay it across your nail and you paint polish over it and it worked as kind of like a, a fiber band-aid almost to try and and keep a nail together and then you polish over it and that way then you don't have to worry about your nail getting ripped off however you would see the shape of that little piece of paper underneath so it was kind of silly but it did work, at least it would keep your nail protected, you know, so that you could grow it up and then cut it off before it got pulled off. But the adhesive uh, Jamberry wraps are much prettier and kind of work in the same way. All right, so I don't need to trim, I don't need to do anything, I just need to do a, a basic shaping. Uh, so I'll just file. And I'm only just gonna do one hand, I'm not going to make you sit through a whole video of me doing both hands. What I do on one, I do on the other. So I'm just doing a basic shaping. And you're always supposed to go in the same direction. At least, yeah, that was what I was told. Like I said, these are just, you know, it's just my way of doing things. You know, whether in years past it was from reading magazines, you know, but then things change and then I'm not up on current things and you're not supposed to do it this way anymore. I don't know. But so if I'm doing things, you know, not in the current way, I apologize. I'm just doing things the way that I've been doing for decades. And, you know, I like just a basic, you know, I don't like it square. I don't like it pointy. I like it somewhere kind of in between. Although it seems like the real pointy, pointy nails. I mean, you know, used to be ovals. That's what my mom's generation, you know, my mom's nails are, are very oval shaped. Now they're like shaped into points, like claws. Yeah, you know, if that's what you like, kudos to you. You know, I'm glad you're like brave enough to <laughs> wear your nails like that. It's just not my thing at all. So, you know, I just kind of, kind of squared, but then rounded off at the edges a little bit. I guess you could say that that's what I do. Oop. Oh, goodness. You know, and I love you know, getting manicures done you know, at the salon because it's always nicer when you have it done rather than have to do it yourself. But due to money constraints, and that's part of the reason why I want to start selling Jamberry, I um, have to do everything by myself. So it's not quite as relaxing. You know, and then also you can do, you know, the nice hand soak after you file your nails. But for time's sake, I'm going to forego the, the hand soak. But that's the easiest way to work on your cuticles if they're at least softened up. I know Jamberry sells a cuticle remover. Um, it's, it's some kind of, like, lotion or something. It's not like the... the tool implement that like cuts your cuticles which actually I've heard that those are not good really for your cuticles because it can cause hangnails right, and then I'm just doing the basic um, I'm using the other side of the emery board to just kind of soften up those rough edges um, oh, I lost the, the point of what I was talking about oh th so they have like a cuticle remover lotion because the you know this implements that cut your cuticles. I heard that those are very good for you because they can actually cause hangnails. So I'm actually anxious to try the cuticle remover. Um, and I think, well, when I start selling Jamberry, I will earn, you know, free product. And uh, so I'm hoping to gain some that way. Oh, 
Oh, oh my goodness. I just dropped that. Oop. See, that's another thing about doing things a live video. Uh, cause I don't know how to edit. <laughs> so this is, it is what it is. You have to go with the flow, even through the little mishaps and mistakes. All right. Okay. So that is filed about where I want them. All right. Then I'm going to go in and just clean up right along the edge, the bed of the nail. And it's kind of funny. I mean, when your nails are bare, you know, you, you see gunk building up in there and you can clean it out right away. But when you've been wearing wraps for two weeks and you can't see the backsides of your nails and you take them off, it's, it's kind of gross, the stuff that's built up and underneath your fingernails. At least that's just me. Maybe, it, oh, maybe that makes me sound like I'm really gross and dirty and disgusting. I don't know. <laughs> so, hey, if that's happened to anybody else, you know, that you notice that once you take it wraps off, that the underneath of your nails, how much they need to be cleaned. Let me know that I'm not alone in that thinking. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, now this is, this is my favorite thing for the cuticles. Okay. Now, you just kind of go along the, the natural cuticle and you just push down along the whole cuticle. And then what it does is, because not only does it push down your cuticle, but you know how when your cuticle is grown up, it leaves that white line of like where the flaky skin is? This gets rid of that. You just rub on it a little bit and it takes that that line of dried cuticle right off your nails. That's why I love this thing. But I wish I remembered what it was called or I think you know, I think I got it off of like QVC or something because then I could do a shout out for it. But I don't even remember where it's called or if that's exactly, maybe it was Home Shopping Network. I don't know. I know I ordered it from somewhere. All right, and you just continue to do that all along. I'll, I'll try and expedite things so that we're not videotaping too long. But it's important whenever you're doing the nail wraps and the gels um, to have your fingernail need to be smooth and your cuticles need to be pushed down all the way and smooth and pushed back. And see, it gets rid of all that loose cuticle. So until I get to try the, the Jamberry cuticle remover, which I might find that I love even better, this is what I have. And you can feel it too when you're pushing it. You feel like where the spots, where the, the cuticle is really built up. And you just kind of abrade it off, I guess that's what you would say that this does. But it's real, you know, it doesn't change the shape of your cuticle like those the cuticle trimmers. You know, whereas if you don't do a real smooth cut on there, then it makes your finger or your cuticles raggedy, which, you know, that's what I'm under the assumption is what causes hangnails. All I know is when I use this, I don't get hangnails, but if I use the cuticle trimmers, I do. Or even if they use the cuticle trimmers in the salon when you get in a manicure. But like I said, I mean, that could just be thinking old school thinking here. Okay. All right, now this is the very important step. This is the buffer block. So this is what's gonna give your nail surface nice smoothness. And then you also have the plus of if the edges are still a little bit raggedy from the filing. Kinda just smooth those, smooth that down. Now it is um, normal for, you see that you know kind of like white chalkiness, and that is you know just from the the dead cuticle 
and just smoothing off the, the roughness from the nail itself. But that's why you never want to be excessive with any kind of buffing because you do not want to start buffing down into the lower layers of your nail. Then that will create a weak nail if you destroy the layers of your nails. So you want to stay very much just on the surface. Yeah, and then if there's still a little stubborn piece of cuticle in there, you, know, you can just kind of take the corner of the buffer block just to smooth that in there. All right, now we are going, give me a pause. Okay, now we are going to wash and buff. And I forgot to bring out the soap, the Jamberry Cleanse. So again, this is part of their older line, but I'm going to use it up until it's gone before I buy new. So it's just a basic soap. And uh, wash that good. Get underneath the fingernails a little bit. All right, and then, like I said, I don't know if there's a specific way you're supposed to all use this. This is just what I do. And I kind of get some of these steps from, um, I remember the Mary Kay satin hands, which was awesome stuff. Um, yeah, so I do have to say that the, I love how the Jamberry smells better than the, the Mary Kay. I do remember that smell is kind of funky. Um, I do have to say though, kudos to the uh, Mary Kay buffing uh, solution. Because this is a sugar scrub, and the one drawback of the sugar scrub, I'm just, this is exfoliating your skin, so I'm just doing it twice. Um, the one thing that I'm not crazy about with the sugar scrub, sorry Jamberry, um, is because it's sugar. So it will harden, uh, especially in colder temperatures. And the closet where I keep this is actually on an exterior wall that gets very cold in the winter. And that will get hard as a rock. But it can be uh, taken care of. Just uh, run it under some very hot water until it softens up again. And just dry. And you don't have to pause, but I'm just going to show that I also have this, which is Quench. And I use this on my cuticles. So I want to put that on too. So now I'm going to use the, the hand moisturizer. And just smooth that in. Rub it in. I always get the nails and cuticles. And it smells really good. Do the elbows. Always gotta take care of those elbows too. All right, and then you said this is quench, and it's just kind of a. It almost looks like like lip balm, but it's just a moisturizer for your cuticles. I actually prefer this over cuticle oil because cuticle oil is drippy. This is solid. They do sell cuticle oil too, although I don't have Jamberry's cuticle oil, but I like this better just because I like being able to rub it in its lotion rather than the oil. And I rub that. All right, and let's kind of mop up the excess and voila. That is all for today. See you again. Thank you. Bye.